Roblox games are really pay to win. Whenever you're in a game, you probably see this. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. Or when you play Battle Wars, you see this. Oh my god, bro. Oh, so we're going to be ranking the top 10 Roblox games from pay to win to not pay to win. Alright, so Brookhaven. Brookhaven does not really have that anything that's pay to win inside the game. I don't think because I don't never play the game before. Uh, let me see if they have any game passes that involves pay to win. Okay, so we're on the game, so we gotta four and they basically don't have that many. Uh, okay, okay, speed, premium, on fire. It's not really pay to win. I wouldn't say it's pay to win because like it doesn't really affect the gameplay. It just gives you extra like stuff to do in the game. But I feel like it's not pay to win. So for that reason, I feel like Brookhaven deserves to be in. Nah, because I feel like Brookhaven, uh, you can actually just play the game normally without any of those game passes. And I feel like this, that is, it just, it doesn't deny. It just deserves to deny. Alright, so Adopt Me. Hmm. Adopt Me is a similar one to Brookhaven, but I heard that there's pets in there. You have to buy Robux to gamble, and we know that's pay to win because you gotta gamble your way to get pets. I'm pretty sure. So. I gotta say, uh, it's either an, an eh or a pay to win. Uh, I feel like it's an eh because Adopt Me is like, you know, it's not really pay to win, but at the same time, it could be pay to win with the gambling. If they did have gambling, it would have been a nah, but since they have gambling, they're going into eh for now. Alright, so the Vlog Fruits, the most popular game on Roblox at this point, except for Bookhaven, but. <laughs> I've I seen a lot of stuff on Twitter talking about Vlog Fruit paying pay to win. And I gotta agree with it because there's a bunch of stuff that's paid to win in there. You can roll foods, you can get two times multipliers. It's it's crazy. Alright, so we're looking at the game passes here. There's two times money, which is pay to win. There's a dog blade, which is another pay to win item that actually can help you throughout the game. There's two times mastery, which is gives you more mastery. Uh fast boats, which is it's fine. Food notifier though. Oh, this is turned to another pet summoner X. Oh no. And this is a two times boss drops, which gives you extra drops. Okay, so I made my decision, and this is the first game that's going inside the picture. I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do what it's been doing. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. All right, so Bed Wars. Everyone's been thinking I'm gonna put Bed Wars in pay to win because it's a bunch of kids, but I'm actually gonna put Bed Wars in the air section. And hear me out. Here's, here's why. Here's why. They have a free kit rotation where you can actually play as different kids throughout every week, which prevent. From like you have to pay for a kit and you have to buy a kit, and I think it also got some free kits in the battle pass too. If you grind the game a lot, and then you get this kit for free if you grind. So, fair play, and I feel like this deserves an S. So, pet similar ninety nine. Guess where I'm gonna put it? Guess where I'm gonna put it? Oh, I'm gonna put it in the nah section, man. The nah, okay, nah, nah. It's cool. I don't, I don't need to explain why. I don't need to explain why, alright? We know the reason why Pet Summoner 99 is in the pay to win section. We know the reason. <laughs> evade, uh, I feel like Evade has not pay to win items. I'm gonna put it in the nah section, cause I feel like there's nothing that can, nothing in the game that you can actually do that actually, like, makes the gameplay, like, you have to pay for more gameplay or make for more speed. Alright, so Evade does not have any pay to win items other than a boombox, uh, which it's not pay to win. Uh, some sets, some characters, and some sets. Basically, nothing pay to win, just some cool cosmetics. Which does not affect the gameplay at all. MM2, I feel like it's gonna be in the air, because I feel like MM2 is gonna be a, uh... Because for the murderer, you gotta pay for, uh, abilities and perks, so I feel like you gotta, you know, pay for it. And you gotta, you get more abilities and stuff for it. And you also gotta gamble with knives, which is similar to Adopt Me. Free facility, I feel like um, it's like another gamble one, but it's not really pay to win because it's basically the same game. So I'm gonna put it in the NAS section. Alright, I don't mean to, I don't really need to talk about this one. I don't need to talk about this one because uh, yeah, because it's similar to Pest Winter X, and we all know why I put it in here. Blade Ball is definitely gonna be in here because you gotta pay, you gotta gamble for like a new ability like Infinity, which is not even good. And you gotta spend a lot of money to even get like the best like stuff, and you gotta get ready to get swords too. And for the stronger battle guns, I'm gonna put in the air section. I don't really know this game, and I feel like it's not really pay to win because all you do is just gamble emotes. That's what I saw, and yeah, it doesn't really change the gameplay. 
if you guys rate this tier list like a 10 out of 10 size w if you rate this just say l kevin in the comment section and yeah uh oh richard <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me.